All right, 1206 this afternoon. The Roger Williams Park Zoo is bringing back its jack-o'-lantern spectacular for 2024 with a brand new theme this year to keep people involved on their trek through. ABC6 News reporter Josh Kerman spent the morning with the team behind all of those festivities. He is sharing a closer look at how the team is carving out a little bit of fun. And so in honor of this year's trivia theme, Josh, we've got a question for you. You ready? All right, so how did early New Englanders protect themselves from evil spirits. All right, Carl, think about that one. The Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular visitors will also need to add a thinking cap to their costumes as they head into this year's carved attraction. And we'll have the answer to that question, hopefully, right after this. Over 5,000 pumpkins are spread out across Roger Williams' annual Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. And the brand new trivia theme is giving visitors another reason to return for the 36th year. I'm the type of person, I've seen something once or twice, I've been there, done that, but I think changing the themes up maintains the interest for, for the show and people come back every year. The team starts crafting ideas at the start of the year and work really hits a fever pitch around August. I mean, I think it gets easier though, right? Like, I mean, the more you do it, the, the better you get. It's like anything else. Yeah, like, um, so you get a renaissance section, which is fantastic because, you know, you get to go pull off those, like, you know, great masterworks and, like, uh, you do your best to do it honor and put it, put it on a pumpkin. The event is open from 6 p.m. to 10.30 every night through November 2nd. I'm, if you told me 36 years ago, I'd still be doing this. <laughs> but, uh, and we've been here for 20-some years now, and the crowd just continue to get bigger. I just think the artistry gets better every year. This crew that we have, uh, I think, matches up against anybody in the world. Tickets are available online, and we'll have a link to check it out on our website, abc6.com. And there are quite a few brain teasers when you go out to visit the trail, so make sure to sharpen up on your spooky facts. Now, Cara, you had asked, how did early New Englanders protect their homes from evil spirits? So I think the answer, by hiding their shoes in the walls, the belief was the item had absorbed the essence or the soul of the former wearer. In the newsroom, Josh Kerman, ABC6 News.